Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan the Reviewer. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Watch. Join me once again with one of my collaborators who I reviewed last time, which is from the review, review of Ghosts. Please welcome once again, Kelsey Taylor. Say hello, Kelsey. Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Thank you, Jonathan, for inviting me back here for another movie review. Today, we're going to discuss Wonder Woman, my favorite film of 2017. That's right, Kelsey. Today, we're going to review one of the best superhero movies ever, and that is Wonder Woman. Now, we know you're probably wondering, which Wonder Woman are we going to review? The TV series starring Linda Carter? The animated version? Or the 2017 version of it? Well, we are going to review the 2017 version starring Gal Gadot. Now, there are going to be some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, go watch it and come back here to hear our thoughts. Now, on with the review. It takes place in the Mascara, where we get an origin story of how Diana Prince became Wonder Woman, and then we get to meet Steve Trevor, played by Chris Pine, who happens to be a pilot of the U.S., and they're at war. Diana realized that someone that she knows has to do with the war that is going on in Germany. Ares, the god of war. So it's up to Diana and Steve to stop Ares and to stop the war. What happened the rest, you just have to see for yourself. Now we know you're probably wondering, what do we think of this movie? Now after hearing so many positive reviews about this movie, I can see what why they're talking about how amazing it is. Because after seeing this movie, all I can say is that not just that this is one of the best movies and this is one of the best superhero movies ever I ever saw, but also, to my opinion, I will say, well, five words. Best superhero movie of 2017. Well, make that four words to be exact. And not only that, to my opinion, the way I see it, this happens to be the Richard Donner Superman Tim Burton's Batman, and Sam Raimi's Spider-Man of 2017. As someone who doesn't watch a lot of these films, mainly in the DC genre, this one really got me infested in everything from the characters to the story and such. The humor in this was also pretty well done. It was never too over the top or lame, it was just smooth and balanced. And not just that the cast are pretty good, mostly due to Chris Pine and Gal Gadot, who I, to let you know, she captures Wonder Woman. She became Wonder Woman. The directing by Patty Jenkins is incredible and phenomenal. She brought the passion of Wonder Woman to this movie. And all we can say is that Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot are our Wonder Woman in our hearts. Don't you think so, Kelsey? I do agree. Patty Jenkins was the greatest choice to direct this movie, as well as Gal Gadot being a great choice for Wonder Woman. And I hear they're actually coming back for the sequel, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do next. Oh, I totally agree, because these two are the best to bring this character to the screen. I never knew too much about Wonder Woman before this movie. I remember Family Guy spoofing her a bit in some episodes. Other than that, I didn't know a whole lot about this character. However, after seeing the film, she has become my top favorite female superhero, unless you want to count the Powerpuff Girls. Also, the action sequences are absolutely phenomenal and non-stop. For instance, in one scene when Wonder Woman stands out of the field against the German soldiers, and when they try to hit her, she kept on fighting with her bracelets and her shield and her sword, and she helped Steve and the rest of his soldiers to stop the Germans. That is so phenomenal. And the cinematography and editing and pacing is so incredibly well done. And the love connection between Steve and Diana are also incredibly well done. I really enjoyed the acting from Gal Gadot and Chris Pine. The chemistry between the two of them was so genuine and believable. I haven't seen a strong connection between a couple in a film in a very long time. It made me care about them so much, especially the scene where C. Trevor blows up the plane full of gas bombs, sacrificing himself. It was so emotional to watch. 
I mean, Chris Pine's character was so likable, I wanted him to live. Unfortunately, I was absolutely crushed when he got killed off. And some people say that it's like the Captain America, the first Avenger of DC. Well, all I can say is that this film is kind of similar to Captain America, the first Avengers, which I will review soon. In the meantime, this is the best. Well, one of the best superhero movies ever. Wonder Woman is not just one of the best action movies in recent years. It's the best DC movie I have seen so far. Even though I have not seen that many of them, from Batman v Superman to Justice League, this one won me over. And there's not much to say except that, in the end, Wonder Woman is without a doubt one of the best superhero films and the best adaptation of the best female superhero in DC history. So as a result, I give Wonder Woman from 2017 five gold stars. And not just that, I'm also going to give two thumbs up and ten out of ten. What would you give, Kelsey? Two big thumbs up indeed. Five gold stars. One of the best movies of 2017. My top favorite of that year, next to Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, I totally agree. Because this movie is definitely worth it, and we highly recommend you to watch it. So Wonder Woman from 2017, have you seen it? If you haven't, go check it out. But first, watch Man of Steel and Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad before seeing this film. But if you have, come back and let us know what you thought about it. Also, if you love this review, click the like button below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more. And I promise I will soon review Man of Steel and Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad soon. But this is the best one that I would ever come across with after seeing these three. In the meantime, I'm John the Reviewer. This is Jace Watch. I'll see you next time, and stay tuned where I'm going to review with one of my best collaborators, movie fan from the movie universe, in the TV show review of Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Let's Samurai's, guys! Thank you, Jonathan, for inviting me to do the review, and come check me out on my channel where I do other movie reviews as well as some other sorts of content. See you guys later!